Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosipu and today you are going to be watching my February plan with me. So here's a little recap of what we did in Chinrewi, which was a Japanese bobtail cat theme. And for the month of February, we are going all in into the cute little rag dolls. I was trying to um, pick a breed of cat that kind of like felt romantic, beautiful, um, and just like cozy in general because uh, we are pretty much in the end of winter here in Canada. So for this reason, I decided to go for the rag dolls. So as usual, I do have a little bit of facts about those cats. If you guys want to le uh, learn a little bit more about the history. Um, and meanwhile, I'm just sketching out my cover page for the month of February, which is going to be, to be um, two cute little ragdolls just like snuggling together on kind of like on a sofa or something and obviously Kero has to join it in um, if you haven't met my cats before we have Kero which is a pure black kitty and Seni who is a calico girl so ragdolls are a pretty recent breed of cats if you didn't know um, as history of the breed goes back into the 1960s the breed was actually developed in Riverside, California by breeder Anne Baker. A regular non pedigreed white domestic long hair cat named Josephine produced several litters, litters of typical cats. Josephine was a Persian Angora type and had litters seared by multiple unknown male Burman or Burmese like cats, one of which had the Siamese point coloration. Josephine later produced kittens with a docile, placid temperament, affectionate nature, and a tendency to go limp and relax when picked up. Ragdolls are actually most likely to die early of age of heart disease, more specifically in, I'm gonna butcher that word, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy due to the fact of having two copies of the HCM gene. So right now, um, I obviously am done sketching out my cover page um, and I'm just using my Sakura brush pen um, the fine point to just you know trace everything and as I was drawing the cats I was trying to not like put too much pressure on the pen and um, because those cats are generally very fluffy and they have long hair I didn't want it to do like a very bold marking so I just decided to go super light and not necessarily uh, finish my lines and everything and right next to it I decided to draw a little quote um, in cursive all this month team font by the way is gonna be a very intense cursive by the way so I wrote in, in cursive in French uh, because you know February is the month of love French is the language of love. Rien n'est plus doux qu'un chat, which can also be translated to nothing is more softer than a cat. And, you know, because ragdolls are very fluffy, uh, I thought it was the perfect quote to go alongside it. And um, I'm just like, you know, passing by with my brush pen. I used two colors this month. So we have kind of like a very light pink and a light purple. Uh, colors and because I really wanted to have my ragdolls to be pure white which is pretty rare apparently by the way as I learned while I was doing research for this video <laughs> so even though I was looking at pictures of ragdolls while I was sketching out my drawings um, I guess technically the cats that I drew are more like angora mixed with ragdolls or whatever <laughs> I'm also using my zebra midliners um, I kind of have like this cherry red uh, midliner that I kind of realized while I was you know doing this cover page that um, I might actually need to buy a new one but uh, that's a problem for Rosie Poo in the future um, so I use this kind of like cherry red midliner and I also use like a very bright purple one 
as well as a softer red, more like vibrant red midliner. And uh, of course, had to do it, a pink one. <laughs> and I also use a little bit my Jelly Roll Metallic pen in gold from obviously Sakura Pigma Micron. And I also wanted to try something new in this journal. So as you guys know, you know, I'm a big fan of washi tape. Uh, to just like spice up my spread to make everything look a little bit cuter um, but I actually got recently a laced washi tape that you will see in a little bit um, in the video um, and it really made the team more like fancier, cozier uh, I don't know how to explain it but it's probably one of the base, best purchases that I ever did for my journal this uh, gosh darn lace washi tape and you'll see I put it every freaking where and here comes Sunny who also wanted to have some cuddles after Kero. Um I also moved my journal a little bit closer to me for this reason because you know I kind of have a little baby kitten in the way um, and instead of having yeah, like you know sparkles everywhere uh, I decided to go with like little arts and with little art stickers. Uh, I have like this big roll of cute little arts with like different coloration and like stuff written inside of them. So that's pretty much it for this cover page of uh, my February monthly setup. Um, I also added a little bit of blue in the eyes of my kitty cats because if you didn't know, um, ragdolls, uh, pure breed ragdolls, all have beautiful, vibrant, and shiny blue eyes. Oh, and here is the brand and the name of the lace washi tape that I'm going to be using through the whole setup. Um, but yes, they may come in different shape and shade of blue. Uh, and as I said, it is very important to know that is one indicator to know if your ragdoll is purebred is it is has blue eyes if it doesn't if it has shades of green or yellow um it is probably a mix then even if you have a breeder that says no 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 it's pure breed um nah in fact it's mixed with something else but you know it is it is still a ragdoll we're not gonna get you know, crazy with the color the eyes or whatever um, <laughs> another thing that is also important to note, um, there is, is a big miscon misconception about the fact that um, if your cats have blue eyes, it means that it's deaf. While it is mainly true for pure white cat, it is not the case for ragdoll. Um, ragdolls comes in variety of colors and they don't have the same mutation gene than pure white cats. So, again, Ragdolls are not, in fact, deaf. And here is the heart stickers that I was mentioning a little bit er earlier. <laughs> Next up, we are going to be moving to my monthly calendar. Um, I used the same setup for about a year and um, this is the calendar setup that I prefer personally. Um, what I like about this setup is that I can um, both see very, like, you know, big, um, uh, in-depth char character, an uh, in-depth calendar of the month. And again, here comes Kero, who just wants some attention and cuddles after that. Now Sunny is gone. I swear to God, those cats are fighting for my laps. <laughs> Uh, what am I saying? Yes, so what I like about this setup is that uh, I can see uh, an in-depth view of what is going to be happening this month But also I have close to me all the events my habits that I want to track of this month And I also reserve a little place uh, to be writing down what I'm grateful for every single day so for this setup, I decided to use all the colors that I used in my cover page um, and I'm just coloring down the uh, squares that represents uh, each day of the month. Um, I actually did a mistake because I started on a Monday, but technically the month doesn't start until Wednesday. 
but uh, it's okay. It's okay. We gotta we gotta figure it out. Um, <laughs> so half of them are actually just like you know I just trace the contour uh, of the square, um, and the other half is actually a uh, full colored in. Um, I thought it was like showing up like you know a good amount of variation. Um, I was so focused on like you know not messing up the order of color that I completely forgotten to write down the dates. I eventually went back in it um, just before I was, you know, doing the flip through of the journal of the monthly setup that I'm like, oh no, I forgot to do it. So it's not, I didn't record it, but don't worry, I did it. So in cursive, I decided to use um, one of the brighter and vibrant red that I had to only write down the first letters of the week um, and as you probably figured from, you know, a little bit earlier from the quote uh, section of my cover page is that um, I am French Canadian, so I do speak both French and English. So uh, depending on what the word is and how it's written in French, um, my journal is actually bilingual. So because I'm used to the dates of the week in French, um, I wrote down the first letters of them in French. Uh, same thing for the month. So instead of February, I wrote down février. But so for stuff like events, habits, because the word is longer in French, I wrote them in English. I don't know, maybe it doesn't make any sense to you all, but it makes sense to me. So instead of writing down événement, which is a 12 letter word, uh, yeah, a 12 letter word, uh, I wrote down events because it's a six letter one. So yeah, <laughs> I also redo the cute little uh, cat lovers that we had in the cover page. Uh, I had it a bunch of washi tape. That unfortunately Kero bit down, so I'm not gonna be using this one because it's full of cat rule. Thanks, Kero. Can we have some thanks, Kero, in the comments? <laughs> um, and again, I've been adding down this beautiful lace washi tape with a bunch of like little arts. Um, and on the Dutch door part of uh, this calendar setup, I also drew like the little couch. Um, I think it's gonna be the last time I'm gonna be drawing it because I really really wanted to use the whole like lover seat couch as well but because I already set up on the color I didn't want it to like you know draw it too much because the ink is drying out in this zebra midliner but you know you get me you get me so I drew again the little lover seat that I drew on the cover page colored it in um, obviously using the same very intense cursive uh, font style for uh, all my titles for this setup and yeah that's pretty much it once again so moving on I'm gonna be working on my memories of the month spread uh for this spread i really wanted to go to like kind of like a frame-esque wall in like a living room it's a little bit confusing but hear me out so in order to do the frames i wanted them to be a slightly bigger than my um photo card that i'm gonna be putting in my journal uh my polaroid like pictures i mean um, so instead, I decided to go with something a little bit bigger, so I just picked one of my random common Pokemon cards that I had laying around in my room. Um, so I just traced them, and instead of having them kind of like in the random areas, because I want them to look like frames, they're a little bit more organized. Uh, they're not like stepping on um, each other and everything. Um, and yeah. So I just like picked the Pokemon card and uh, I did the border with it. So when I'm going to be putting the Polaroid picture, uh, it's going to be kind of like floating in the frame almost. And yeah, I also wrote down Souvenir de Février in French, which means uh, Memories of February, as you could guess. Um, and for my frames, I um, use my zebra midliners, but for them, for some of them, I really wanted to use my lace washi tape but it's a bit too wide to use it like that so instead i just like you know cut it in half 
and um, made some frames with it. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I guess you guys are seeing the footage, so you understand what I mean. <laughs> and obviously, Keru is trying to chew off the lace straight off my journal. He's also fighting with me, like using his paw and everything to hit me so I can like give him the lace washi tape because he's been so obsessed with it. He is so freaking cute. I just, I just can't. <laughs> After I was done working with the frames, I just uh, drew two cute little ragdoll kitties. Um, and to commemorate the fact that uh, if your ragdoll doesn't have blue eyes, they are, not pro uh, they are not pure breed. One of them has blue eyes and the other one has green eyes because, you know, I just... Personally, I don't know for you guys, but like, I, I find it a little bit like intense to uh you know this whole thing with like pure breeds animals and everything it, it, it it's okay if they have a little bit of mix in them so uh hence why one of them has blue eyes and the other one has green eyes and yeah another um fun fact about ragdolls cats is that yes they all have blue eyes but they when they are born they are actually full-on white they're born pure why? That's probably the reason why I thought that, you know, ragdolls were mainly white. <laughs> but yeah, the colors and pattern developed sometimes between one of two weeks of age. And the breeder is able to tell what color or pattern they're going to be, uh, depending on like, you know, what the parents uh, look like. And speaking of patterns and coats for ragdoll, um, they are officially five known patterns uh according to the ragdoll association of america you have the carter point coats the bicolor coats the mitted coats which it which make them look like they have like little white little mittens <laughs> and uh there's also the lynx point coats and the torty coats which is pretty much a toy toys ragdoll if that makes sense. Like a tortoise code ragdoll. <laughs> oh, and I also used um, my purple brush pen uh, to kind of like a little bit of in-depth, like a little bit of 3D effect to my um, cursive font. I don't remember if I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, but I've been doing that since the cover page. I'm sorry if I already mentioned it or I didn't. <laughs> and... Yes, again, with that, I had a bunch of cute little arts everywhere, and Kero didn't want to let me turn the page. So I just like took a break and colored him a little bit before we move on to the next spread. And obviously the next spread is my weekly spreads. So uh, I, again, really, really like the setup that I did last week month uh so much that i'm reusing reusing it for this month so the the principle is that i'm going to be having a master list for the whole month on the left side and on the right side i'm going to be writing down my goals for the month um and all my weeklies are going to be separated in uh by dutch doors and if you remember from the January plan with me, um, I actually did a mistake. I cut one more Dutch door than supposed to. So for this, uh, for this month, instead of starting off, you know, the week where February 1st is going to be, um, I'm going to be starting off where uh, February 6th is. And obviously for those weekly spreads, in order to separate my uh, Dutch doors, from well not my Dutch or but my week from my master list and my goal list um I'm using my handy dandy lace washi tape that I love um and so because of this previous mistake uh I cut in only two touch door for this uh for this setup um and I'm dividing everything by quarters so uh you know i have enough space for every day of the week um and for the empty space uh i guess you could write down a quote or kind of like something that you liked about the week or like a little weekly recap or whatever but what i like to do is that i like to have a sp space to make me remember what is happening the next week so uh i just don't go like back and forth 
from my calendar at the beginning of my setup uh, every single day. I just have it like writing down on my weekly spread, uh, weekly spread, and I can only go back to the calendar like once a week, if that makes sense. So obviously, we have our baby ragdolls back. Um, one sleeping in the left hand side corner, and one like you know giving itself a back in uh, the right corner. So last month I didn't really use the goal. I didn't have that much goal. So uh, I just decided to go for a bigger drawing on the right side um, and I'm gonna give myself more space for uh, the left side for the master list. I used um, again the same colors that I've been using since the beginning. My uh, brush pen as well as my um, my zebra mint liners um, and I also did a tiny bit of a mistake when I cut down the touch door at first um, I kind of forgot to uh, leave a, a space for uh, the bookmarks so because of that my uh, my touch door were not as equal as it was at the beginning so I had like to replace uh, the lace and all that kind of stuff um, and for every week, I'm going to be using a different color of my zebra liners or my brush pen. So the first week is purple. The second one is this uh, very vibrant red. And for the last one is pink. And again, I've um, been using the same cursive letters as the beginning. Um, <laughs> again... Uh, with the same washi tapes, the same little art stickers, and the hand drawing hearts as well. Um, and that is pretty much for the weekly spread. Um, I also have more uh, fun fact about ragdolls if you guys want to hear about them. <laughs> if you didn't know, ragdolls actually have a uh, dog like personalities. Um, they have like the best traits from dogs though, so loyalty and playfulness. They are firstly royal to the families and they love being near humans. Uh, ragdolls are mostly known to wait patiently outside of a door for their owner to come back home and play with them. Uh, you can even see sometimes like, you know, a little paw going going through the door if you're going to the bathroom or something. Um, they, they really like being near you, they get anxious if you are not near them. <laughs> um, and they are also very very quiet per nurture. Uh, it can be like a very good thing because you know sometimes it's not that great to be waking up at the crack, the butt crack of dawn by a cat meowing because they want their food but it can also be a disadvantage because it also means that they don't show any distress or pain it doesn't mean that they don't feel it it's just that they are so quiet that instead of like howling or like acting not themselves when they are sick they're just like you know gonna pretend everything is normal so you really need to pay close attention to your ragdoll um, like all the time because you just never know when they're gonna be sick because they're just like so good at hiding it and dealing with the pain um as well and as i mentioned at the beginning of the video ragdolls are really known to have what is the name of the the disease again i'm gonna be looking down my notes uh they are more common to have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy uh because of that gene that i said once again so take care of your kitty cats okay for me <laughs> i also use my blue brush pen to be writing down uh the gold title uh i use um a piece of dutch door uh leftover dutch door to be uh coloring my bookmark and this is not the end oh no 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 i actually have a one more spread for you guys and it is not Kero, it is not a Kero spread <laughs> it is actually a Valentine's Day spread so you can notice that like the setup of the camera is a little bit different I actually had the idea when my 
journal was completely finished. So this is a last minute edition. So I'm sorry if the lighting is like not the same or the angle is not really the same. Um, it's just that I pretty much did the spread like one week after finishing everything up. <laughs> Oh, so um, I decided to go for a Valentine's Day spread. So on one side, I'm gonna be able like to uh, print out a picture of um, you know what happened on Valentine's Day, um, and I'm also gonna be writing down um, what happened and everything. And on the other side, um, I'm gonna be leaving myself some space to be writing down ideas that I want to do that day. Um, kind of feel like I want to do something special with Tony this year because it's our seventh Valentine's Day and you know we are coming through a three-year pandemic I feel like it's been a while since we had like a proper date like I cannot even remember the last time we went to the theater we went to like you know we go eat at restaurant pretty often on you know regular dates our monthly regular dates but uh, I don't know, I kind of want to do something special. So I'm going to be writing down all the ideas that I had um, on the right uh, corner. Not the right corner, on the right page. Um, and I was saying corner because I was watching myself putting uh, washi tape in the corner <laughs> of my page. But you get the idea. So on the left side, again, in French, I wrote down uh, our 7th Valentine's Day, notre 7th Saint Valentin. And on uh, the other side, I wrote um, suggestions and ideas. And I also, like, I don't know why I drew, like, a little, um, like, love letter. I, I guess I should have drawn, like, a, like, those heart cushions that I keep drawing since the beginning. But I guess I didn't do that. Um, <laughs> and uh, at the bottom of it, because I figured I'm not gonna be writing down like a massive list of suggestion and ideas, uh, I also added our cute little couple, kitty cats who are giving each other a bath. Um, and yeah, so I spiced everything up with my uh, lace washi tape, this beautiful pink. Uh, with like snowflake washi tape as well as the art stickers and everything. Oh, and I guess I Didn't mention it, but I didn't use the same pen for this spread uh, Instead of using the brush pen. I'm just using like a typical uh, Sakura Pigma Micron. I think the white of the pen is the number three I think think i'm not sure uh i guess you can still go back to the video to see if you can see the number uh, i don't have my pens near me and i'm lazy so yeah i drew uh the cute little cats still using the same color palette yada 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 one of them has green eyes and the other one has blue eyes and that is pretty much it for this whole setup i hope that you um you know, you like this team. I hope that you like my ideas for uh, my special Valentine's Day spread. Let me know in the comment if uh, which is your favorite spread, if you have any plans for Valentine's Day. And yeah, once again, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I guess I'll see you guys next month for a March plan with me. I did two videos in a row this month. Incredible. I, I, I think it deserves a, a good... A good round of applause <laughs> but yeah once again thank you so so much for watching i guess i see you guys next month for another plan with me video and with my with that in mind stay safe and stay pink and i'll see you guys really soon bye friends oh and as always enjoy some cute kitty cat um and a video outro um okay now i'm gone okay bye <laughs>